Did you know you can create an AI model of your own voice in iOS 17? Apple's iOS 17 is finally here, bringing with it a series of upgrades and new features compared to previous iterations of the operating system. Some of the most helpful of these are the new standby mode and the ability to create your own message stickers. But perhaps one of the most interesting of them is the ability to create an AI model of your own voice, which you can use later. Now, the reason for this feature is actually pretty cool. It's built to allow users with disabilities that affect speech to type what they want to say on services like FaceTime and on third party services that will eventually support the feature. But of course, anyone can create an AI model of their voice using the feature. Doing so is actually quite easy too, though it will take some time. Here's how to create an AI model of your own voice in iOS 17. If this video is helpful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps support my work and I'd appreciate that support. To create an AI model of your own voice, first make sure you have iOS 17 installed. You can do that by heading to settings, then tapping general and hitting software update. You'll then be told which version of iOS you have and if there's an update available. You'll need to be on at least iOS 17 to create an AI voice model. If you have iOS 17, these next few steps will take around 30 minutes and you'll need to be in a quiet area. Head to the settings app, then scroll down to accessibility and scroll down and tap personal voice then tap the button to create a personal voice. Follow the prompts, tapping continue twice, then giving your voice a name. Then tap the record button, reading out the phrases that appear on the screen. Only read prompts when you see that the device is listening. You'll have to read 150 different prompts, which can indeed take a while. Then you'll have to wait. Your device will process all of the prompts that you recorded when your device is charging and the screen is off. That will take a few days, depending on how often your device is charging and locked. All of the processing happens on device. So it's now two days after I first recorded my recordings for personal voice, and it seems like it has stopped processing. Um, I headed to settings, accessibility, and personal voice, and there was a button that said something like start processing. Um, if it doesn't seem like yours is actually processing in the background, you might want to head to settings, accessibility, personal voice, and, and make sure that there's no button like that and that it is actually processing when your phone is uh, locked. Once your voice has been processed, you can enable it by heading to settings, accessibility, live speech, and then toggling on the live speech feature. Then go to the voices section and select the name of the voice that you recorded. It should appear at the top. Then you can use it simply by triple clicking the power button on your device and pressing the live speech button. Then type what you want your device to say and hit send. The feature can be used while FaceTiming or on calls. You can also program favorite phrases by heading to settings, accessibility, live speech, favorite phrases, then typing in phrases that you want to show up on the live speech feature when you use it. Then all you'll have to do is tap the favorite phrases button in live speech and it'll automatically say them. And here's how it sounds. It's not perfect, but it's not bad either considering it was all processed on device. Thanks for watching this video and again, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if it was helpful to you. My name is Christian and I'll see you next time. See ya.